Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Gathalian, and I'm coming today with just a little bit of news about Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Now, it looks like 2K has dropped a new video on certain media outlets. I don't think that um, myself, Baru, or Mac will be able to post the video. It looks like uh, choice outlets actually have exclusivity with it, but I did watch it, and I will link it in the description below and if someone could link it in the comments as well that would be super but i want to talk about a couple things that i found to be pretty interesting inside of the video uh, it featured athena uh, gameplay again but there were a few mechanics in it that i thought were pretty interesting and um wanted to bring up with you guys two of them to be exact the first one is that tdor reloads um uh with laser guns actually have a Tesla effect as they're flying through the air. So it looks like they've gone and they've mixed it up with the laser guns. So that adds a lot of uh, different gameplay variants, which should be pretty fun to play with. I've always been a big fan of Tesla grenades. Um, you know, normally they are just stationary, but it does look like you throw it. It is a Tesla while it's in midair. And then when it makes contact, uh, it will explode like a normal TD or reload. Uh, the next thing I wanted to discuss is it kind of looks like Bandit weapons are gone. It looks like Bandit is actually going to be replaced by uh, Scav. Scavs are, of course, Bandits on the moon. So it kind of makes sense that the Bandit uh, manufacturer actually would go away for Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Now, whether or not um, Scav will have a different gimmick than Bandit did um, doesn't really... Uh, look like it will uh, from from this uh, screenshot that I'm showing you here, which is from the video. You can, again, check out the full video um, from a link in the description below. Uh, it looks like it does still basically work off of that increased magazine size. It just looks like they renamed Bandit, which uh, is kind of, eh, but you know what? It's whatever. We got a new manufacturer. Maybe it will have its own, its own, um its own gimmick to it. Uh, this does look to be uh, like the, um, the, I, the the space gub, but uh, they did actually change the texture on it as I thought they would. Um, this looks exactly like the model of the gub, but of course it is not the same skin. It's not the same material, therefore not the gub, um, but it is made by the scav manufacturing uh, company or scabs or whatever you want to call it. Anyways guys, that'll wrap it up for these two things that I noticed If you watch the video and there's something else interesting that you may have noticed, please leave a, um, a Comment let me know I'll check it out if I do get permissions to use this video I certainly will but as always guys don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you back inside the pre-sequel